Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Wesley So and Magnus Carlsen. This is a game from the World Fischer Random World Chess Championship played in Norway in 2019. Wesley So had white pieces and he started with f4. In a normal game, it would be the bird opening. But here, what is it called here? A Fischer bird opening, maybe. Carlsen played the knight to b6. It makes sense, doesn't it? What's the knight doing on a8? Knight to b3, d5, e4. d takes on e4, queen takes on e4, black to move. There is no knight to f6. Carlsen played knight from f to d7. Knight to e3, c6, bishop to f2, bishop to c7, knight to f5 with a double attack, black to move, e6, if g6, knight takes on e7, check, e6, knight takes on g7, attacking the queen, queen to f8, knight to h5, h6, should I mention that white is a pawn up, and black has no compensation for it, so, White got an opening advantage, doesn't he? I nearly said so so has an opening advantage. The game continued. Bishop to e2, bishop to h7, queen to f3, rook to g8, bishop to d3, bishop to g6, bishop takes on g6, f takes on g6, knight to g3, bishop takes on f4. White to move. What would you do? Are you ready to see the move? Wesley so castled kingside. The other option was castling queenside, but kingside option provided more exercise for the king. So we have a castling kingside. Not afraid of the pawn storm. That's interesting, isn't it? G5, knight to e2, e5, defending the bishop. Why to move? How will you continue? Wesley so played g3, not afraid of exposing his king. The bishop is trapped. Black to move. Are you ready to see the move? Don't blink. Did you see it? Carlsen castled queen side. g takes on f4. e takes on f4. The other option was g takes on f4 and then white would probably play king to h1 e takes on f4 freeing the square for the knight bishop takes on b6 a takes on b6 rook from e to b1 knight to e5 attacking the queen queen to c3 queen to d6 knight from e to d4 g4 the pawn storm is coming Black is intending g3. How would you continue? It would be nice if white can play knight to f5, but then black can play knight to f3. Well, Wesley So was not afraid of knight to f3. Wesley So played knight to f5, attacking the queen. Knight to f3, check. Did Wesley So miss this move? No, he didn't. King to h1, there is no time to take the rook, because knight takes queen. Queen to d7, and now knight to e7, check. King to b8, knight takes rook. Knight takes rook on e1. Why to move? How would you continue? I guess some people would capture the knight. Knight to f6 comes to mind too, attacking the queen. Wesley so played even better move. Queen to e5, check. King to a8. And now knight to f6 attacking the queen, saving the knight. Queen to f7. White to move. What would you do? I guess some players would take the knight. White played the move and black resigned and the move is... Rook takes on f4. Carlsen resigned. Can you see why? The threat is checkmate on a4. 
If black plays b5, preventing checkmate, maybe, how would you continue then if you had white pieces? Then, rook to a4, check anyway, and after b takes on a4, check, forking the king and the rook. After king to b8, queen takes rook, check. King to a7, queen a5, check. King to b8, white to move, and there is more than one way to win. Like queen to e5, check, but I like this move. Knight to c5, black to move, everything is losing. So e as well, may play queen takes on f6. And then white plays the obvious, and obvious is knight to d7, check. Winning the queen, and I guess we can stop here. Wesley so is proving to be too good for Carlsen in Fischer Random. What do you think? Of this game. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.